Welcome to Beyond the Press channel. Hello. I'm Lauri. And I'm Anni. And I'm Samu from Samun Tiedekanava. And today we are where we are. At the X-ray laboratory of University of Helsinki. Yeah, and we took some of our stuff with us. So as you might see, there's hydraulic press inside of the, is this like X-ray filming chamber or yeah. which is like real technical name. And the idea of today's video is to crush things and film with the X-ray camera while they're getting crushed. And <laughs> we have, or I have made super professional hydraulic press with like a adjustable pump so we can control everything really well. I'm going to now show, show how the hydraulics work and then Samu can explain <laughs> how the filming works. And I leave link to Samu's channel in description and end screen. There is more X-ray videos there. The channel is in Finnish, but most of the videos are like really short and visual. So it's worth of watch even if you are not, not completely understand the great Finnish language yet. <laughs> okay, so here is the press. And the frame and the cylinder is made for our village hydraulic video. And then the hose comes out from back there. There is like really tight hole so it doesn't leak the radiation. And then I have the hand pump. This is actually from the press that we bought for the uh, crushing dynamite video. And I never used this on that video. So it's brand new. Okay, I, I think I set the bar pretty high in terms of like professional setup. So you can like explain your setup now, but how it how it starts. <laughs> okay. So yeah, we have the camera box here that connects the X-ray camera to the computer. This one is high voltage generator. It goes up to 50 kilovolts and one milliampere. It's a little exercise to count what is the power. Huh, well, it's 50 watts of electric power. Only one person becomes X-rays. And then in the cabinet, we have an X-ray source where electrons are going really fast and hitting metal and when electrons are bre br breaking uh, the speed very or slowing up very quickly they will release electromagnetic radiation in this case x-rays and on this side we have a x-ray camera it doesn't care about visible light at all it only sees x-rays that come in through the metal they are converted into visible light and then detected by a usual camera sensor. And protective cabinet keeping the radiation inside safely. Yeah, and the cabinet works really well. We did some testing. And how much the meter said? How much there was radiation? So we put the meter inside and put the rays on. So first it went up from, uh, from like one count per second up to like 8,000 and then overload. So not great, not terrible. Yeah, yeah. That's the scientific way to yeah. put it. And then we can get the picture here. When it's not on, of course, right now, so, because the so, doors are open. So now we see what the X-ray camera sees without X-rays. Yeah. So it's, so, yeah. And the idea is to take one picture every like two and a half seconds. Yes. And then I'm going to pump every two and a half seconds. So then we get a constant speed. And yeah, we, we see step by step how the pressure is going and the uh, shaft is moving down. Yeah. I think we are going to start with the apple. Yes. We, we don't have, we don't want to do anything too, too important on the first go in case it goes not very well. But I think, it, I think this is going to be nice. Okay, so uh, we are ready to start. We put GoPro inside of there and it uh, doesn't seem to mind at all. So pretty good. Okay, so Anne is going to adjust my pumping speed with the uh, like sound from the mobile phone. I think we are ready. Yes. Ooh. Ooh. That hey, was so hyvä. slow, Ooh. and I'm so bad on concentrating on pour ta pouring tasks like this. <laughs> yeah. This is growth as a human being. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Yeah, let's uh, switch everything off and have a look at the video. I think it's some. I think it's going to be good because guys were quite excited. It looks good. It looks really good over the computer. Yeah. 
I have never seen anything like that in the x-ray chamber. Nobody has seen <laughs> Nobody. <it>. True. <laughs> Okay, so that was surprisingly good. I thought that the apple is going to be boring, but it al already that was interesting. And now we have small alarm, alarm clock there, and it looks really nice even just standing there. So I think this is going to be great. I think we can stop here. Yeah. That's done. <laughs> it's clear. <laughs> it was great. Yeah, yeah. I think the uh, plexiglass was good addition. Yeah. It yeah. seems that it's a good idea. Because yeah. there is, uh, you said that there is peri beryllium surface yes. there on the X-ray thing. Yeah. Okay, so the uh, clock was a bit too exploded for the frame rate that we have. Because it's uh, one frame in every two seconds at the moment. So when things explode, you don't see that on there. But I think we are ready for the like main event of the day, Rubik's Cube. Okay, and this is going to, I think this is going to first squeeze and then it's going to like be a bit explode. So let, let's see. <laughs> yeah, I think it's ready. <laughs> okay, so now we have Sari's old camera there and it's a bit hard to see through but I think it's going to be interesting. I think we have reached the pancake phase. Yeah. yeah, this is ready. Okay, so we have two Kinder like surprise eggs and you can spy what they have inside. This has some toy that you have to like assemble yourself. I think that's a bit boring. We are going to uh, first see which is what is inside of the another egg and then we can decide. So let's put the another one in. This one is also boring, but they have also some surprise eggs here, just in case. So we are going to switch one more time. Okay, I think this is the most interesting that we found. I think we are not going to find out. <laughs> Maybe here was a picture of that. It was like some Delphine. kind of delphin or something. <laughs> okay, pretty good. Okay, and then the last one, we have uh, some duplo bricks. And this looks really nice when it's like just sitting there. So I think this is going to be also excellent. Okay, that was the last one, and I think this worked even better than we thought. Yes, yeah. indeed. Yeah, nobody died, 
all the equipment is like still intact. Nobody is growing extra limbs. The GoPro could take some radiation. Yeah, GoPro is good for radiation. So like everything went really well. And if you like the video, we can maybe do even more of these. So if you have good ideas what we should put there, yes, yeah. please let Indeed. us know. And if you want to see just something not being crushed and inside of there, I think you can leave also comments on Samu's channel and Samu can like test things out here. Yes, great. I think this wasn't like your typical work day here with this <laughs> stuff. N not very typical. So what do you usually do? We study here how to do tomographic imaging where we take an x-ray picture from many directions and then we use mathematics to calculate what is inside usually with no pressing yeah. and we use this also for teaching and students and we have school children to come here and learn about yeah so it's imaging. more about uh, just taking pictures and learning the equipment than uh, studying any subject that you are filming yeah we kind of develop the methods for doctors and engineers who want to study the structures so we kind of make the methods ready for them and they can use them yeah and now we are going to have lunch break and this video is going to end here but we are going to film also a second video and we are going to co continue with radiation we are going to use particle accelerator and we are going to throw nokia 3310 there so what happens when you bombard nokium atoms with really high, high energy protons. Will it make a black hole? But Lauri, do we have any salty cucumbers? Yeah, we have also a salty cucumber. That's going to also go up there. So subscribe to the channel to see that. And that is all for today. Thanks for watching. And have a nice day.